Okay, so let's continue. This will be the start of your midterm coverage class for Farm Chem 2. So again, do not forget na mag-start na siya sa anti-fungal agents. So parehas lang ito ang discussion. We will discuss the names of the agents and then their clinical application. And then you will be tasked to uh, research the chemical structures of these drugs. And I will be talking also about their mechanisms of action, especially sa mga well-known na mga drugs in the market. So again, we will have the antifungal agent. So do not forget, uh, you are actually done with this, the mycology, it's the study of fungi. So the study of fungi is already included sa inyuhang microbiome na subject, microbiolo microbiology and parasitology. So the history of mycology, um, it started with the uh, discovery of trichophyton uh, Schoenleni. It's it was on 1839 and the discovery na by Sean Lane. I don't know how, how to really pronounce the, the surname and grubby. So, um, trichophyton class is a fungus na causative, one of the causative in, agents sa mga tinea infections na to. Okay? So, pag tinea infections class, um, sa skin na siya na fun, fungal infection. And then we have um, Langenbach who reported the yeast-like microorganism responsible for oral thrush. So um, when you say oral thrush, that is singaw in layman's term. So ang singaw class can be caused by candida albicans. It's a yeast, it's a fungus. Um, though you know that very well na makita na siya sa reproductive organ sa mga babae sa, sa vagina that's a normal flora but um, th since this is class a an opportunistic fungu fungus if you have low immune system it can also cause oral thrush so kapag ka nagasingaw ganit mo class it's not because in it it's not because of some other na mga superstitious belief it is because like um, aside sa mga gipa naga braces din ha kay common na siya sa naga braces pero kung nag oral thrush lang ka bigla it is an indication na nagbababa ang imuhang immune system pero actually it is it is related sa in it kasi if the weather is very hot um, you can have lowered na immune system. So, muna nga magsingaw ta. Pero, kanang direct relationship sa init. Um, oh, wala siya. So, again, um, it can be caused by candida albicans. So, we have two groups of fungal infection. We have the superficial mycosis and the deep-seated mycosis. When you say mycosis, it's fungal infection. So, natay superficial na sa skin lang siya. Um, and then the subcutaneous layer also. And then we have deep-seated deep mycosis wherein the fungal infection will reach our systemic circulation or sa atuang blood and then causing some signs of infection to different organs. Okay? So, ang, mga, ang pinaka common class na mga fungal infection or mga mycosis kay ang atuang superficial mycosis. So these are caused by dermatophytes. Um, we have examples of dermatophytes like katong ako na mention kagaina, the trichophyton species. Daghan magud kaayo na sila nga species ang trichophyton. And then we also have the microsporum species and the epidermophyton. So I hope you will ano um mag-review mo sa inyuhang ano ba Microbio. So, what are our dermatophytes? Again, we have the trichophyton species. We have the microsporum species. And we have the epidermophyton. So, mauna sila ang mga posible species na, na mag-cause o mga superficial mycosis. So, unsa ang included anang superficial mycosis na to, we have the tinea infections or in layman's term, we call it 
ringworms. Okay? And candida infections are also under the superficial mycosis. So candida is different from the three. Okay? Question so far. Ay, what happened? Wala. Tingog mo ha, basig na may wala na sabtan din ha, kaya itong usabon. Or basig, naluya na mo din ha, huna, huna sa inyong grado. Niya na mo pag huna, huna na inyong grado. Ugma na di ay. Okay, it can be available tomorrow while I'm like listening to the discussion sa PhD tomorrow. I can, I can answer you regarding your concerns sa grades. I hope we can open the aims tomorrow. So next, let's talk about the ringworm infections. We have different types of tinea. So kanang tinea class, it's not the name ha. Let me correct that. This is not the name of the um, causative agent. This is These are the names of the infections. So ang katong causative agents, mo itong giingon kagay na mga, mga epidermophyton microsporum and katong isa uh, trichophyton but ang condition is called tinea and it is dependent kung asa siya located in the body like if that the fungal infection is located in the scalp sa ulo we call it tinea capitis uh, and then para sa mga lalaki sa ilahang balbas we call it tinea barbae that is also ano possible na magkaroon ng fungal infection din hinga part nila and then um, other parts of the face we call it tinea facie and then tinea cruris kay sa groins sa singit um, mamangod na ang gusto sa mga fungi na um, gusto nila og area nga basa dulom and init so mana siya pil din ha ang singit or, or ang groin, we call it tinea cruris. And then I think this is the most common one, the tinea pedis, or that's what we call the athlete's foot. And the tinea manum if naasya sa ato ang kamot. And tinea ungium, or the oncomycosis, it's on the nails. Okay? Mga nails na to, fingernails na to, pag magkaroon na siya o tinea infection, morang magabok na ang ato ang ang ato ang kuko, or we call it tinea ungium or the oncomycosis. And then we have the pityriasis versicolor caused by malasesia 4-4. Uh, let me write the name of the fungi. Uh, no, that's not the ingrown. Malasesia Four, four. This this is the causative agent of the pityriasis versicolor ha. Na this way it is called versicolor kay mag magbilog bilog na siya sa skin and then lahi siya color. So magkaroon ng discoloration sa imuhang skin. Okay? So, Pareha sa up up. <laughs> Di ba? Are familiar with up up no? So ang ang up up actually class kani sila they are not an they are not life-threatening, but uh, they will really affect the fun our daily functions sa life. Um, it will affect our confidence also. Like kung nakay up up, it can actually affect that. And then kaya mga tao di ganahan o duol sa imuhan no kay nakay fungal infection. So ang ginaask ni Tin na ingrown is not the same. Um, actually, ingrown is kuko lang man gihapon na siya class nga kanang ng tubo gud na siya diribanda. So, muna siyang ginakuha siya kay um, itulod man na niya ang imuhang skin since naa siya sa sulod. So, that, that will be painful and maghubag na siya kadugayan. So, kwaon siya. Pero it's not an infection. It's just an outgrowth ng ating nails. Okay? Questions class so far? Yeah, pwede ka mahawaan sa up up class. Uh, most of the time kapag kanang sige mo og tapad or magsige kag panghulam sa iyahang mga things, sa iyahang mga simina, sa iyahang mga 
mga makeup kits kana pwede ka mahawaan that is why di ko ganahan magpa makeup bitaw sa mga different mga parlor na kanang ilahang mga gamit kay gigamit sa isa ka tao tapos gamit sa uban daghan na kaayo mo ang gigamitan without proper na disinfection so di ko ganahan ana kay pwede siya makatakod So, parehas anang dandruff. There are dandruffs caused by fungal infection. So, pag masigig kag panghulam og sudlay or kaya like sa parlor, ang sudlay nila, mga ingan-ingan, hindi ko ganahan, pwede siya makatakod. Basta ang mga conditions gani kay caused by microorganism, automatic class nga makatakod yun na siya. Okay. Mura <laughs> di ko ganahan kuno manghulam og toalya. Supposedly those things are your personal things. So ikaw lang ang mugamit ana pag mugamit ang uban we don't know their condition like for example they have athlete's foot um pag misikag panghulam sa ilahang medya, sa ilahang sapatos and all other mga footwears pwede ka matakdan ana. I'm not really with the with the chalk dust. Um, up up is caused by a fungal infection. Okay. Anything else? Nagdiscuss mo ani sa inyong microbio class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. So this is just a review sa inyo ha about the different infections. Now I will have an assignment sa inyo ha. Uh, this uh, this is about the systemic mycosis. So, ang ako ang assignment sa inyo ha, in a piece of paper, but you have the systemic mycosis here. Um, you ano tabulate this sa sa table. Ilagay niyo niyo siya and then divide it into three columns. The first column is the name of the systemic mycosis, like the histoplasmosis, and then the next column will be the causative agent of this condition, and then the third column will be the description of the disease or condition. So kani silang tanan, they are systemic mycosis. They are fungal infection that reaches the bloodstream. So mga systemic na niya infection ni abut na jud sa blood ang Fungi. So just like histoplasmosis, so this is caused by histoplasma capsulatum, and then you describe the condition. And then we have like spor sporotrichosis, this is caused by sporotrix shenki. Actually, I know the causative agent, but I want you to... Um, Kay kamo na sad ang mangita para dili lang taman nga ako tanan hatag. So, kamo na sa dang mangita sa ilang positive agent. And then, I believe na in yung humanigidiscuss sa microbio. So, you might use your ano, mga slides sa microbio para pangita ni siya. Okay? Then, we have the blastomycosis, the coccidioidomycosis, cryptococcosis, and we have the paracoccidioidomycosis. Okay? Nakuha ang assignment. Okay, ta din hang apart. <laughs> so I will just place a kanang assignment na part dito sa inyong Schoology kung asa ninyo siya ipasa. Anyway, hangtod next week pa man ang deadline ani. So you still have time. I hope you will really research ha and then kamo mismo ang magsulat, mag-research para mahinumduman ninyo siya. Okay? Any paper, any paper will do. Okay, Rasakwa, any paper will do. Okay. Next, we have opportunistic fungal um, infections. So, we have systemic candidiasis. Katong candidiasis na atong na-mention kagaina, like the one that causes oral thrush and the one that causes like opportunistic na infection sa vagina sa babae is under the superficial. Pero it, uh, there will be... Cases jud na candidiasis will reach the bloodstream. So, pwede siya mag-cause of systemic candidiasis. So, kani gitawag silang opportunistic because um, if you have good na immune system and then you will be exposed ani na mga, na mga agents, dili man mo actually magkaroon ng sakit. 
uh, magkaroon lang ka og sakit if you are immunocompromised. So ang problema na to ani like sa mga patients with AIDS or HIV since they are immunocompromised, they are at risk of these conditions. And then like we have aside from candidiasis, you also have aspergillosis caused by aspergillus flavus. Uh, most likely this is from the peanuts no. Uh, this one is carcinogenic. So if you can still remember, there are mga peanut butters na mga brand na usahay mo kalit sila o kanang withdraw from the market. Kalit nila withdraw ang ilahang mga products sa market. Uh, that is because of the presence of this fungi or fungus. Um, nga pag naamanggod ni siya sa mani, and then magkaunta, mag-release manggod siya substance nga carcinogenic. And then when you say carcinogenic, it can cause cancer. So, dili po, basta-basta nga mukhaon lang tao mga like mga peanut butters o mga manik, dapat wala dyan na siya presence of fun fungi. And then, I'm not, uh, can, can you please, ano, uh, padagdag si mucormycosis sa inyong assignment? Though this is not really with the systemic mycosis. No? So, please add the mucormycosis and the pneumocystis carini. Okay, please add the mucormycosis and the pneumocystis carini. I think the pneumocystis carini is a new name. Okay. Next, we have the cutaneous infections. Mano niya kung gisulat kagaina, the one that causes superficial na mycosis or that's what we call the dermato. Phytosis. We have the microsporum, trichophyton, the epidermophyton, and baliktad na yung spelling kagay na this is the correct spelling. The one that causes pityriasis versicolor is the malassezia purpur. Okay, so pag sinabing subcutaneous fungal infection class, it's an infection sa both the skin and the subcutaneous tissue. So pag may ngon kag subcutaneous tissue, it's below the skin class. It's between the skin and the fats. Magkaroon o like fungal infection dito. Okay? Pero pag subcutaneous infection, hindi pa naman siya umabot sa systemic circulation and wala pa siyang dissemination to some other organs in the body. So, ano, introduction lang to siya, uh, a little review of our mycology. Um, sa Farm Chem 2, we will focus sa mga agents na to. Mga antifungal agents. And then, let's start with the topical agents. So, these are the agents we apply to the skin. Therefore, tambal ni sila sa atong dermatophytosis or katong superficial na to na fungal infection. Okay? Uh, again, pag dermatophytosis sa it refers to tinea infections or in layman's term, we call it ringworm. Okay? So, the first agent na to, na topical para sa atong dermatophytosis kay ang fatty acids or ato ang sebum. Atong oil sa lawas, pag mag-oil imong face, mag-oil imong lawas, that is actually class an antifungal agent. Mauna nga atong nawong, um, <laughs> usahay lang, usahay lang dyan ang case sa uh, mga tinea face sa face, kay, especially if very oily atong nawong, diligid mabuhi atong fung fungi dira. Kay, um, our sebum contains fatty acids, so it's acidic, ash sa skin, and dili mang good ganahan ang fungi o mga acidic substances class. Mamatay jud ang fungi pag there is an acidic substance. So ang sebum nato is actually a part of our immune system. So abi niyo, abi niyo, wala lang siya gamit no. Uh, pero actually, pag mag-oil atong skin, it's beneficial for us. Okay? Ang atong problema sa pag very uh, pag very oily atong skin, we are like, ano, kanang dilita at risk of fungal infection. Pero we are at risk of bacterial infection. Nakuha. Kung <laughs> mag-oil po ng ato ang skin, um, prone po siya, kaganahan po ang bacteria o oily. 
nga like sa face. So pag very oily po ang imuhang face, um magbugas po ka ana, ganahan ka ayo si Staphylococcus aureus ana. So wala ta kabalo asa ta lugar. So ato lang i-control atong oil. Kay needed gihapon ang atong oil pero um dili lang siya pasobrahan to the point na magdaghan ng ato ang pimples. Okay? So okay ra na siya nga mag-oily atong skin. Mag-oil man jud glass ang atong skin. Dili lang atong nawong ang naga-oil ha. Tibuok na atong lawas naga-oil. Okay, so other acids. Uh, these are fatty acids. So definitely these are organic acids. May carbon sa ilahang structure. So the first one is propionic acid. Again, if the structure is not included in my slide, it is your responsibility to look for the structure. So the first one is propionic acid. It's an antifungal agent na non-irritating at the same time non-toxic. Therefore, we can use it sa skin uh, if ever we have tinea infections. So for example, na kay ringworm, Uh, atong uban products nga antifungal um kun tanawon na to ang ilahang content ang uban sa ila ha na ay propionic acid basta mo claim gani na og antifungal for ano ha for the skin um the product may contain any of the following na ako ang i-discuss. So, ang uban na ay zinc propionate um this is unstable to moisture but Uh, it will form zinc hydroxide and propionic acid. So the antifungal diha upon is caused by propionic acid na ma-release from the zinc propionate. So this is a fungicide. Uh, when you say fungicide, it will really kill the fungi. So dili lang siya mag-inhibit sa growth. Sidecidal, it means to kill. So natay uh, mga adhesive tapes, kanang murag mga band-aid good og itsura class. Um, na ginabaligya sa market, na ginabutang siya sa adhesives and then ipilit lang siya sa skin. So for example, na kay up-up or na kay mga other types of tinea infections, butang lang ni mo siya dito sa imuhang skin. So naan na ito'y tambal daan ang adhesive. Pero again, hang, ihang nawong, murag band-aid lang. And it comes uh, in different shapes, like may bilog. Ana. So muna siya ang mga products available sa market. Isa sa component is the zinc propionate. And then we have also the sodium caprylate uh, used for dermatophytosis also caused by candida albicans and the three dermatophytes. So, ang sodium caprylate is actually from caprylic acid. So, the The agent here na antifungal jud is the caprylic acid and asa nato ni siya gikuha either sa coconut oil or sa palm oil. So i-isolate lang siya and then we can get this agent na pwede gamiton as antifungal. And then we have the andesilenic acid or the 10 andesinoic acid uh, which comes from the castor oil. So kung ang kap Caprylic acid is from coconut or palm oil. Si andesilenic acid naman is specific for castor oil. So how do we get this? Through destructive distillation. Like sunugon jud siya. Wala kay gamiton nga solvent. Pag destructive, pag destructive na ano, distillation, wala kay gamiton nga solvent. Um, ibutang lang sa flask ang imuhang substance. And then is subject to heating, and then it will produce the oil, and then you can isolate the andesilenic acid. So, um, andesilenic acid is safe for use as skin up to 10%, but most of the time we use this specifically for athletes' foot or the tinea pedis. Okay, and then we have the triacetin. Uh, The activity is due to the release of acetic acid. So I'm talking about the fatty acids pa karon ha. So that na yung mga different na mga agents but ang ang nagakos jud na antifungal sila kaning mga acids na ilahang gina-release. So just like triacetin, uh, acetic acid ang ilahang positive na uh, active na metabolite. 
and then you are very familiar with this, especially sa mga na i up up mostly lang ginagamit kay salicylic acid. But the use of salicylic acid has now declined kay actually makasunog siya kasi it's a stronger one. So makasunog siya sa skin if termi siya gamiton. But nevertheless, ginagamit ni Hapon siya for fungal infection. So salicylic acid is both antiseptic and kera tolitic. Though poor lang man ang yung anti-fungal agent, but you can still use that sa, like sa up-up. So gani meaning sa keratolytic agent, pag imuha na siyang ibutang sa skin, it will cause sloughing off of the skin. Magpanit na siya. Ang outer layer matanggal. Yes, mag-peel. Tama, mag-peel off siya, Jai. Um, and then, uh, since na-expose na ang sa ilalim na layer the drug can now penetrate and it can um, take action sa nagakos sa infection so man siya ang keratolytic agent and then this is a favorite board exam question the Whitfield's ointment um ang board exam question jud ani kay ang iyahang component so pag magtrabaho na mo puhon or mag duty mo puhon sa mga butika, brand na niya ang Whitfield. We call it Whitfield's ointment. And pirmi na siya ginapangutan na iyang component. It contains 6% na benzoic acid and 6% na salicylic acid. So, ointment siya. Ang gigamit na base is petrolatum. So, um, nga nung combine man na silang duha. Benzoic acid and... And salicylic acid are both antifungal. At ang problema si si salicylic acid is a poor one. So mas okay ang trabaho ni benzoic acid, but ang problem po ni benzoic acid dili siya makapenetrate sa skin. So ato silang i-combine. Pag combine nato, salicylic acid will cause the peeling off of the skin para makapenetrate na si benzoic acid. And then, makatake na siya action sa causative agent niya. Questions class so far? Sa ito ang discussion? Wala. So, let's have phenols and their derivatives. So, mga... Uh, ang phenols class, aside from being an antibacterial, remember nag-discuss tao, phenol no, sa first part, katong sa prelim, antiseptic sila, pwede sila for bacteria, at the same time, pwede po sila sa fungi. Okay? So we have haloprogen in the market. Um, it's 1% cream, which is a treatment gihapon sa dermatophytes or para sa superficial na tinea infection. Um, this is a phenol derivative, but uh, the problem of using this agent is mag musamot sa ang imuhang mga samad-samad due to the fungal infection before siya maayo. Okay? Sige, noted. And another uh, adverse effect is there will be inflammation and painful irritation with the use of haloprogen. Since again, phenol derivative siya, so pwede siyang corrosive siya sa skin. But afterwards, maayo lang gihapon ang imuhang mga lesions due to the fungal infection. And then we have the cliokinol. The brand name in the market is Bioform. It's an ointment also. The concentration is 3%. And ginagamit siya for trichomonas vaginalis. Na nagakos o vaginitis. So, itis di ba inflammation? So, inflammation of the vagina caused by this um, agent, the trichomonas vaginalis. So this is again a what you call that derivative ng phenol and na siya another form niya we have the Vioform HC pag nagan siya HC meaning it's a combination drug or in combination siya with the hydrocortisone 
So, si hydrocortisone is um, corticosteroid. So, pag corticosteroid, it's an anti-inflammatory agent. So, since there is inflammation, like sa vaginitis, so mag-treat siya sa inf inflammation at the same time, since na siya cryokinol, it can it can also kill the causative agent. Next, we have the cyclopyroxolamine. Uh, the same thing, ginagamit yung hapon sa different types of dermatophytes or mga dermatophytosis. Uh, but this is just a second-line treatment for oncomycosis. Drug of choice siya for cutaneous candidiasis, tinea corporis. Corporis is in the body. And then tinea cruris pedis and tinea versicolor. Katong pitiriasis versicolor akong dimension kagay na. Uh, drug of choice siya din ha, pero second line siya for oncomycosis. Remember, oncomycosis is infection sa nails. Now, paano siya mag-take of action sa fungi? So this one, the mechanism of action is dose-dependent. Anong dose dependent? Kaya at low dose, it will block the transport of amino acids into the cells. Um, kapag uh, the action of an agent has something to do with amino acids and proteins class, ano lang na siya? Static. So since we're talking about fungi here, fungi static lang siya. Pag static, it will prevent the growth of the microorganism. So at low dose, uh, ang, gina ang trabaho lang ni cyclopyrox is i-inhibit lang niya ang growth or ang pagdaghan ni fungi. Pero at high dose or high concentration class, this agent um, will target the cell wall of the fungi. So cell wall na iyahang target or the cell membrane, I mean. So iyahan na siyang i-target at the same time mawala ng integrity ah, ng membrane na na and ang consequence is mag-lysis. There will be lysis. Mag-gising, buto ang cell, and then mag-leak out na ang what is inside the cell. So, mamatay na ang fungi. Okay? Questions? Clarifications? Or do you want to share something related to our topic? Wala? Sige. So, we'll continue ta. Now, let's talk about the nucleoside antifungal. So, pang mag-study mo, Ani, kay please give importance also to their groupings, ha? So, the, the next one is nucleoside antifungal. So, nucleoside class... Um, I don't know if you can still remember your biochemistry class na sa part sa mga nucleic acids. So, di ba nucleic acid? Wait, ha? Huh? At itong mga nucleic acids, like we have the DNA and the RNA, ang building blocks, ani, kay ang tawag kay nucleotides. So, parehas good anang ano class like sa protein the protein is a big molecule and the building block sa proteins kay amino acids that's the same thing also for carbohydrates na ang building block sa carbohydrates kay monosaccharide pag abot kay nucleic acids the building blocks are called nucleotides and unsa ning nucleotides it's a sequence combining the sugar the phosphate and the nitrogenous bases. So, pag mayingon kag nitrogenous bases, mauna itong purga and ang picot. Can you still remember them? Sige daw, mangutana ta. Wala yung mangutana. Ako yung mangutana. Pistas <laughs> daw, ma. <laughs> Sige. So what can you remember about these things? Say ma remember na to sa discuss ni Ma'am Cherry ba? Subong ka kay Ma'am Cherry si Betub chats ko ah. Ngan kay siya kailangan sa ako ah karong adlawa. 
ipot sa ito na yung mga nang, may chat sa kuha pa puno ka kung inbox ka ron, isa-isa hon ko pa ito open later. Basin lang na, may kailangan sa kuha na tabuna na inyong message. Okay, so Jonabel, Purin, and it's Pyrimidin. Ano, Pyrimidin siya, Jonabel. It's not Pyramidin. Pyrimidin. So, ano ni siya? So, we have the purine bases and we have two, the guanine. Yes, that's correct. Guanine, guanine, and the adenine. And then, for picot, it's pyrimidine. Na mga nitrogenous bases, tulo na sila cut. So, cytosine, uracil, and the other one, the thymine. So, pag i-combine ni mo na ang sugar, ang phosphate, o ang mga nitrogenous bases, all together we call it nucleotides. Pero class, pag sugar plus nitrogenous base lang na siya, ang tawag na to kay nucleoside. Okay? Nucleoside lang tau pag sugar lang o nitrogenous base without the phosphate, we call it nucleoside. That is to differentiate nucleotides and nucleosides. Ha? Kasi we are now discussing the nucleoside antifungal. So combination ni sugar and ni nitrogenous base. So the first one, me clear the writing sa screen. The first one is the flucytosine. The brand name in the market is Ancobon. Um, this one is an agent na most likely ginahatag in combination. And in combination siya ni Amphotericin B. Uh, this time class, this is a drug used for systemic mycosis. So ang ato ang ano nag sa cyclopyrox for der dermatophytosis, pag-abot sa nucleoside antifungal, para na siya sa systemic mycosis. So, unsa na systemic mycosis? This is used for meningitis caused by Cryptococcus neoformans and Candida. Um, ano? Uh, di ba yun ko sa inyo, ha? Ipa-research na ko. But, um, cryptococcus neoformans is the causative agent of the cryptococcus. This is um, this fun fungi can be can be ano seen sa pigeon droppings sa mga itigan sa ano sa mga birds. Like for example, nagalaga mo glove birds din ha sa inyo ha. Ang ilahang stool can be contaminated by Cryptococcus neoformans. But again, ang Cryptococcus neoformans is actually an opportunistic fungi also. So, dili mo basta-basta magkaroon ng sakit ani unless na lang if you are immunocompromised. And ang sakit nga yung hanggi na cause kay meningitis. Mag-inflame ang meninges sa imuhang brain. So, pag maingon kag meninges, it's the outer covering sa ato ang brain. Okay? Uh, now, if you combine amphotericin and the flucytosin, the drug interaction is called synergism or synergistic sila. Uh, let me add a discussion. Uh, segue lang pakadali before ta mag istorya o mechanism of action. We have a lot of drug interactions class. So natay mga drug interactions, isa na diha ako ang na-mention na synergism. Naapod tay addition or additive. Um, naapod tay potentiation. And then we also have antagonism. Are you familiar of this na mga drug interactions? Sige. 
So, let me share sa inyo ha, the different drug interactions that we have. Um, sa, sa pharmacy class, bright tagmat. Sa kabright na tugmat, yung ani. Pamingon kag synergy, Sam, it's 1 plus 1 equals 3. Okay? Bright. Wala ko yung nangyong bright tagmat. Uh, sa pharmacy, 1 plus 1 equals 3. We call it synergy. GSM. Ganong 1 plus 1 equals 3 man na siya. Uh, kapag ka na kay 1 drug na na effective plus gisabay ni mo siya with another drug na effective food, you will get more than the expected result. Okay? Mo na nga equals 3. Kaya supposedly, pag i-add ni mo iyang effect, i-add po mo yung effect, most likely, ang addition, ang sum lang nila dapat imuhang makuha. Pero, natay mga drugs class na pag i-add ni mo silang duha, isabay ni mo silang duha, more than the expected effect pa imuhang makuha. If that is the case, na more than the expected result imuhang makuha, we call it synergism. And one example of a synergistic combination is the flucytosin in the amphotericin B for systemic mycosis. So, si flucytosin is active for fungi. Amph Excuse me. Amphotericin B is also active for fungi. But if we combine the two, husgan kaayo silang duha. Again, we call it synergism. Muna sa una, if I can still remember correctly, na ay, na ay name sa grouping sa intrams nga synergy, no? Kay synergy sila, kay combination sila sa isa ka course and then another course. And then if i-combine mo sila, marag mas kusgan pa sila sa expected na result. Again, we call it synergy, Sam. Now, kapag uh, addition, this is the true addition. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Okay. So, pag 1 plus 1 equals 2, ano lang, pag i-add lang ni mo silang duha, then you just get the expected result. Like 1 plus 1 equals 2. If na kay effective na drug, i-add ni mo siya sa another effective na drug, you will just get the expected sum of the outcomes. So, kung sa example, aning mga like mga additive. So, Example ni inom ka og sedative sedative na drug tapos ni inom ka og alcohol pareha sila na sedative tulog jog ka pero not to the extent nga grabbing pagkatulog you will just get the expected result okay that's what we call additive or ad addition na drug interaction and then we have potentiation 1 plus 0 equals 2. Ang <laughs> ginaingon niya, bright taong mat sa pharmacy. Question so far? Wala? Do you have idea on saan yung potentiation? So pag potentiation plus... Puno na akong screen. Pag potentiation, it's 1 plus 0 equals 2. Ano man na siya? Na kay drug na effective for a certain condition. Tapos isabay ni mo siya with a drug na dili effective for that condition. Meaning it it does not have an activity sa isa sa sa imuhang gusto tambalan nga condition wala jud wala siya activity like for example kani anti fungal kani dili siya anti fungal pero pag isabay ni mo silang duha you will get higher than the expected effect of the first drug we call it potentiation so let me give you an example of a potentiation drug interaction are you familiar with coamoxiclav Yes, ma'am. Unang ko amoxiclav. Zaman na. <laughs> Since you are familiar, para as naman ng ko amoxiclav. Ah, 
Ano na may question mark? <laughs> pag pag mo answer mo nga na may question mark, it means di mo sigurado. Ana. <laughs> Class pa, um, ano siya ba ang common nga brand name ano sa market? Comoxicla, we have the Augmentin. This is actually an expensive one. Wait lang ha. Namurag na itawa. Yan! 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 Si BJ na, si BJ. Yan! Okay. <laughs> Mona, mostly makita na ko sa ginariseta. Actually, you are correct. This is an antibac- antibacterial antibiotic. Antibiotic ni siya and specific para sa bacteria. Antibacterial antibiotic. Naunsa man ni siya, from the name itself, ko, meaning it's a combination of amoxy Silin. Thanks. Pag tapos, uh, the combination is the clavulanic acid. It's clavulanic acid. Wait lang. Jay. Joke lang tong clavulanic acid. It's clavulanic acid. So, nga nung nahimu man yung siyag potentiation. Amoxicillin is an effective na antibacterial agent, right? So, it's very effective. Pero not sa mga Filipinos. Kay we always... Si, si Belly man to nag-joke. Nag-send siya sa kung sa'yo miming sa club. Ano siya clavulanic acid. Tapos... Isunda niya yung eye joke. <laughs> okay, amoxicillin class, di ba? Pero dili sa mga Filipino, effective. Kaya gina-abuse na to siya. Tapos, not a combination ani si clavulanic acid. But clavulanic acid is not really that considered na antibacterial agent. So, wala judge siya effect. Pero pag i-combine niya silang duha, you will get much more of the effect of the amoxicillin. So, muna karon nga, instead of amoxicillin ang ginareseta sa mga doktor, since nahimo, tama na siya, Jess, nahimo siya vitamin sa mga Pilipino, um, mas ginareseta na karon daghan ginareseta na ano, ko amoxiclab. So, nga nung nahimo man na siyang potentiation nga activity, Si amoxicillin manggood class is easily degraded by the bacteria. So abilang ninyo dili musukol ang bacteria. Ang mga bacteria class musukol sa na sila sa atong mga antibacterial agents. So parehas anang staphylococcus or yeast kana nagakos og pimples, naga <coughs> nagakos og pigsa and other na mga skin conditions, nag release na siya o enzyme, the beta-lactamase. Ang bakteriya ang nag-release sa ani ha? Beta-lactamase. So, ACE, ending. So, enzyme. Na ang trabaho aning beta-lactamase, iyahan na siyang gubaon ang beta- beta-lactam ring ni amoxicillin. And then, remember nga ang nagakos o antibacterial activity sa amoxicillin, kay ka ng beta-lactam ring. Kung nagubaon mo na siya ni beta-lactamase, so wala na siya effect. Mo na siya. That's how our bacteria fight against the antibacterial agent. Now, paano nag-help si clavulanic acid? Si clavulanic acid has a structure, structure almost similar to the beta-lactam ring. And ang tawag doon sa clavulanic acid class is a suicide drug. Suicide drug. Nga naman, mag-suicide na siya din he. Instead nga si beta-lactam ring ang maguba, mag-suicide si clavulanic acid. Siya na ang gubaon 
ni beta lactamase. So, na free na si amoxicillin and it can take now its effect. Actually, it's more than its effect kasi wala na si beta lactamase. So, dili na siya basta-basta maguba. Again, we call it potentiation. I hope na sabtan to ninyo ha. So, manang ginakombine na siya ko amoxiclam. Ang pagpangutanon mo unsa nga drug interaction ang nag-exist between them um, it's potentiation. So, daghan ta actually suicide drug class. Di ba sa pharmacology, I have discussed Parkinsonism na ang drug of choice is levodopa. Di ba, dili dopamine ang ato ang drug of choice for Parkinson's disease. It's levodopa. Pero actually, sa market, ang levodopa is combined with carbidopa. So, duhan na siya. Levodopa plus carbidopa. Ano siya ang available na to sa market. So, si carbidopa is also considered a suicide drug. Kasi si levodopa inside the body, though it can cross the blood-brain barrier, but we still have another enzyme that will that will ano that will destroy this levodopa so instead mag suicide si carbidopa siya na ang gubaon and levodopa can now take its effect basta basta mga suicide drugs gani most likely ang interaction na na nila kay potentiation yeah nagda sacrifice sila for the other drug na mag take og effect so ano ni siya 1 plus 0 equals 2 kasi one na effect ni for Parkinson's disease, pero actually si Carbidopa wala. Okay, parehas lang sila. Almost the same lang sila o structure sa atong drug. Puno na kayo akong screen. I hope kasabot gihapon mo sa akong mga hirap pang sulat-sulat nira, ha? And then, yeah, mga ansang heroes na sila. They are not really kanang given much attention. Like, pag mo pautanon ka, what is the drug of choice of sa Parkinson, Parkinson's disease? Lebedo pa lang atong gina-acknowledge. Pero actually, combine na silang duha. Next, antagonism. Ani, kailage kayo mo. Ani, it's 1 plus 1 equals 0. Diba? Ingan ko, bright tagmat. 1 plus 1 equals 0. So, there will be really antagonism na mga drug-to-drug -drug interactions. We really have to know unsa na mga drugs na sila. Na pag isabay ni mo silang duha, they will cancel out the effect of each other. So, though effective siya kung siya lang isa, kani effective po siya pag siya lang isa, pero pag i-combine na ni mo sila, dili na sila effective. Nakuha? So, mawala ilang effect mo na siya nga equal to zero. We call it antagonism. So, wait. Delete na ako ang tanong writing sa screen kaya wala na ko isulatan. So, tagalan ta mo example of an antagonism na action. Wait lang ha, let me think. Kalang pinaka-common. Kani, amoxicillin plus erythromycin. Plus, di ka, di ka kita ang gina-reseta ni sila nga sabay. Na yung mga, na yung mga doktor na nagahatag o antibiotics, doha ka klase, pero this should not be combined. Kani silang doha. Kay, this is 1 plus 1 equals 0. Mawala ilahang antibacterial activity. Okay? Um, nga naman, because this is a sidal, Sidal, ihad yung patayon ang bacteria. And this is static. Okay. Na right click siya. Okay. This is static. This will just inhibit the growth of bacteria. Kani, this will really kill the bacteria. Pag isabay na ni mo silang duha mo, reklamo ang bacteria. Unsa man dyan mong gusto, patayon ko ni mo, o. I-inhibit lang ang growth mo na nga mahimo na siyang zero. Pero actually, ano ni siya class? Ang target mong good ano kay proteins. And unya, kag-inhibit man na ni mo diri sa static, unya, ang sidal, 
um, ang target niya kay cell wall. And unsa na sa cell wall proteins, unya so, nawala naman ni. Eh. So unsa pa iyang target? So mawala na ilang effect duha. Mag magkaroon na sila antagonistic na activity. Si bacteria na ang mag-adjust kung isabay na ni mo silang duha. So always remember that that's the work of the clinical pharmacist. Um they will look for possible drug interactions. So, dili lang pirmi antagonism ilang gibantayan had do nagafocus jud na sila pirmi sa antagonism kay dibiya na to gusto ng antagonism. Pero they will also from time to time nagapangita pud na sila labi na basta severe na ang condition sa patient then they will look for drug combinations nga either synergistic potentiation or nga additive. So, going back <laughs> questions by the way before that Questions about the different drug interactions. I still have 15 minutes left. Na sabtanto na apod synergism. Mahimo na siya bad ng iyahang effect if the synergistic activity is on the adverse effect. So tama po na siya, Jai. Pag ang effect nila nga synergistic is on the other side, the toxic effect or the adverse effect, that's the time mahimo na siyang um, bad. Okay? Nakuha? Hindi hmm. lang. Wala na, wala na pangutana. So let's talk about, let's go back to flucytosine. So ang mechanism of flucytosine is the release of 5-FU. So ng FU sa pharmacy, it's not a bad. Di ba it's like, kung sa tawagan na sa iya, bad bird na siya, di ba? Kanang... Kung sa tawagan na, abbreviation of a bad word. But sa pharmacy... It's actually a substance. So, gina-release na siya ni flucytosine. We call it 5-fluorouracil. Hindi ulit. 5-fluorouracil. So, mga nucleoside siya, di ba? Uracil is included sa PICAT. U, uracil. So this is what this is a substance class released by the drug and this is toxic for the microorganism for the fungi toxic na siya kasi ma-incorporate na dito sa DNA sa ato ang fungi and ma-destroy ang iyahang yeah, I mean ma-destruct ma ang iyahang DNA synthesis and causing the death of the fungi tama na siya na maka-treat siya ug systemic mycosis like the cryptococcus or cryptococcus caused by cryptococcus neoformans. So, anong ma-incorporate man na siya dito sa DNA sa fungi? Kasi the same siya structure sa original uracil. Naalang siya ay fluorine na content. And, pero dili dyan siya mao na uracil. So, manang uh, toxic siya. Okay. Questions? We only have one nucleoside antifungal. That's a scam. Scam na siya. Na-scam ang DNA sa fungi. O ma-incorporate dun na siya. Basta, basta mga different structures mo na nga giuna dyan sa inyong discuss ang organic chemistry. Kasi you really need to be familiar with the different functional groups. <laughs> na ano mana na siyang ginadulaan sa mga drugs plus buhat sila bagong drugs na gusto nila ma-incorporate sa mga unsa-unsang processes sa body at tungod lang na siya sa mga functional groups okay so move on ta sa an atong antifungal antibiotics take note This one is different from our antibacterial antibiotics. Sa muna akong ginaingon sa inyo ha, you do not call everything 
na antibiotics san. And pag moingon kag antibiotics, that is not solely for bacterial infection kasi we also have antifungal antibiotics. So man sila atong mga polyins and ang atong mga grisofol, atong grisofolvin. Now let's start with our polyins. We have three drugs, the amphotericin B, the nistatin, and the natamycin. Now, i-review lang na ako. Pag maingon ka o antibiotic, diba gikan sila sa microorganism and they are capable of either inhibiting or killing another microorganism. So, polyens ta mag-start. Let's start with the amphotericin B. Isa sila ka-grupo because they have almost the same structure. So, brand name of amphotericin B in the market is the fungi fungizone. Now, what you have to take note, since this is an antibiotic, dapat kabalumog asa siya gikan. So, gikan siya kay streptomyces nodosus. So, gikan siya sa microorganism, again, called streptomyces nodosus. And then, once you isolate that uh, Amphotericin B, gikan din ha nga microorganism. You can now use that as a drug for fungi. Now, what is the mechanism of action of our amphotericin B? Class, ang inyong tandaan, si amphotericin B, iyang target kay ang cell wall, uh, sorry, cell membrane sa fungi. Nakuha, cell membrane siya sa fungi, iyahang target. And what specific substance iyahang target sa cell membrane? It's the ergosterol. Pag ma, pag ma inhibit ang or ma oh yeah, ma inhibit ng substance na na sa cell membrane, mawala man gud ang integrity sa cell membrane. So maglik na ang mga magisi siya ba pag imuhang i-inhibit si ergosterol. So maglik na ang what is what is inside the cell. And then pag maglik na siya that will result sa death. So, si ergosterol class is a sterol found sa cell membrane sa fungi. So, dapat ninyo natandaan ha kay parehas lang na siya sa tao ang atuang cell membrane class na po sterol in the form of cholesterol. So, ang cholesterol needed po na siya sa atuang cell membrane kay it will give the integrity para, para uh, dili da yun magisi ato ang cell membrane. Pero dili lang po nato pasubrahan kasi si cholesterol mag-deposit na sa itong mga blood vessels. Um, sa fungi, they don't have cholesterol. Instead, their sterol is called ergosterol. So, ang pangutan na paano ang plants kay ang animals and then ang human cholesterol, si fungi ergosterol. Paano si plant Do you think na ay sterol ang plan? Any idea? Wala yung idea? Wala. So naasad sterol ang ato ang plants class and we call it phytosterol. So, maupod na ang makita dito sa membrane sa ato ang plants or sa atong cell wall, sa cell wall nila, I mean, we call it phytosterol. But for soybeans, this is specific for soybeans. Ha? Remember, soybean is still a plant. But na siya another form of a sterol, we call it beta stigma sterol. Okay? Or the stigma sterol. Okay? Para na siya sa soybeans. The rest of the plants contain phytosterol. Okay? Hope that is clear. Now, what is the use of amphotericin B? Take note, pag muingo na ganin na og drug of choice or agent of choice, pero may gina siya ginapangutana sa board exam. Kahit pag karoon ka, huwag yung nga infection mo, huwag yung una ihatag pag drug of choice. So, amphotericin B is the drug of choice for our systemic mycosis. Okay? Mga mojo ni siya, basta magkaroon ng drug or, or infection, fungal infection nga systemic, amphotericin B dahil nang unang ginahatag. So, like, kung sa mga example sa mga systemic mycosis, we have the disseminated forms of the coccidioidomycosis. 
kanang nikalat na na infection ni coccidioidomycosis. Then we have the North American blastomycosis, the cryptococcosis, histoplasmosis, mucormycosis, aspergillosis, and the sporotrichosis. So please make your assignment so that you will have an idea on sa mga systemic mycosis na ni. However, what is our problem with amphotericin B? This is an effective drug for systemic mycosis, but this is actually a toxic one. So specifically, sa kidneys. Uh, this will cause renal toxicity. Um, makahilanat po din siya. When you say acute febrile reaction, kung man yung mag-inumog drug, uh, magkaroon ka o oh, fever. And then it can also cause anemia and phlebitis. So phlebitis is inflammation dito sa imuhang blood vessel kung asa ni siya gi-inject. Okay? Question so far about amphotericin B. Daghan mo dapat tandaan sa iya ha? Because this is a very common drug. Ili yan siya common sa community class. May pag nag-systemic fungal infection ka, most likely ma-hospital job ka. So dito ni siya sa sa hospital ano common wala wala na ay gusto ipangutan ay clarify so let's move on we have our nistatin so brand name in the market is the mycostatin so since this is an antibiotic also so this is from our organism called streptomyces norse so do not be confused ha si amphotericin b Nodosus, sinistatin, nor say. So para asa ato ang nistatin, this is used for monilial infections. Pag sinabing monilial infections, candida infections, especially sa mga babae sa vagina. Pero pwede po siya gamiton for oral na candidiasis. So napod tay oral agent of this. Ang um, Unya, ang inyong tandaan kay board exam question could me pag you have like oral candidiasis, um, this one is available as not really ng mouthwash. Ang mouthwash man good kay gargle, ba? Diba? Tapos imuhang is spit after sinistatin man good. Swish and swallow. You swish, you gargle sa yung mouth, unya imuha siyang tulon. Okay, so pharmacist na mo, pag pharmacist na mo puhon, pag na mo palit o nistatin, you really have to counsel your patient na this type of a gargle is not just a gargle alone, but this is swish and swallow. So, imuha siyang iswish all over your mouth and then you swallow. Because uh, the reason for this is you, you have to, ano also, tambalan po na to ang mga infections sa baba. So, dili lang man good. Ang kandida man good, dili lang siya taman sa mouth, no? Appeal siya sa imuhang throat. So, we really need to swallow. But the good thing about nistatin is, even though you swallow this, this is not absorbed systematically. So, magstay ra siya sa imuhang tiyan and then ma-incorporate ra siya sa imuhang stool and ma-excrete. Um, that is actually a good thing. Pag dili siya ma-absorb systematically. Kasi dili siya ma sa blood, dili siya maka sa uban organ sa body and then dili siya mag og toxicity. So it's really fine if you swallow the mistatin. Questions? Wala. And then we have the natamycin or the natasin. This time it's from the streptomyces natalensis. So mas dali siya tandaan compared sa nodosus o sa nor say. Now, what is good about natamycin is at the same concentration range, it's the same. It's it's uh, anti fungal an anti fungal kanang in one fungicidal na fungistatic pa. Pero wala y ano ha? Kaya syempre, one agent lang siya. Wala drug to drug interaction din ha. So it will inhibit the growth of the fungi for some fungi at the same time patayonia. So para asa siya, um, we have natamycin that is produced para sa mata. We have an ophthalmic suspension for this for fungal infection sa mata like causing conjunctivitis, kanang sore eyes nga ginatawag, the blepharitis and the keratitis. So some other parts 
of the eyes, but fungal infection lang gihapon. Okay? And then, other anti fungal antibiot antibiotics is we have the Griseo fulvin. So, the, since this is an antifungal, you can put just a microorganism uh, called penicillium. This is a mold. Ha? So, fungi, you have to class. You can just a fungi, pero tambal, you have to just a fungi. So, we call it penicillium griseo fulvum. Now, what is the mechanism of action of griseo fulvin? Ang iyahang action is more on the microtubules. Uh, dito sa, di ba, uh, kung paano ta nag-divide sa atong cell, di ba, it's called mitosis. Ing anak po mag-divide ang fungi, nag-mitosis po siya. So, parehas lang, um, na ay prophase, uh, uh, metaphase, anaphase. So, sa metaphase, di ba, mag-line ang mga chromosomes and then sa anaphase, kay i-divide sila. The one will go with the... Opposite side and then opposite side ang isa. Ang nagahila ana sila sa ilaha is called the microtubules um, or the mitotic spindle. Uh, so kung mag-inom o grishofulvin plus, ang sa bacteria, ma-inhibit ang iyahang mitosis sa part na na, sa metaphase and sa anaphase. Therefore, kung walay mitosis, there will be no cell division ma arrays ma arrays ma arrays jud ang cell division especially in the meta phase so wala na wala nilaghan ang fungi and then kung wala siya nakadaghan uh, mamatay lang po siya after some time it can be defeated by our immune system another thing that you need to really remember yeah same shag action sa uban nya kan anti cancer drug pero pero you take note of this it's not sa tao nga, nga mitosis sa sa fungi na mitosis so mo na nga dili sila parehas og action ni anti cancer drug okay i mean parehas sila og action na dito sa microtubules pero ang anti cancer drug para sa human nga mitosis si grishofulvin para sa fungi so another thing that you have to take note pag naay mo palito grishofulvin this is best absorbed if isabay ni mo siya with fatty foods. So pag mag-inom ang patient ani, since this is also a lipophilic drug, kailangan mo sabay po kagkaon sa mga fatty foods. So compliance with the drug regimen is mandatory. Pag moingon og 3 times a day for 7 days, you really have to follow that. Kasi grishofulvin is a drug na dali makakos o what do you call that? Resistance. So, pag dili ka mo sunod sa imuhang regimen, makamutate, murang gigitik ni mo ang fungi, magmutate na siya, and then dili na na mahimong effective sa imuha si Grisho Fulvin. So, it's 4.31. I will stop here. Next meeting, we will continue with the alilamines and other related compounds. I might or I might not give a quiz, so depende lang, be prepared.